In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a z-test using null hypothesis uh, significance testing. We are going to compare one mean from a sample um, to a population mean to determine if there is a statistically significant difference. So first, let's um, set up the example. We'll say that, let's assume that on average it takes a voter to um, make decisions in the ballot box approximately 6.5 minutes with a standard deviation of 2 minutes. I say we've created a new method that we believe will um, improve or decrease the amount of time and we take a sample of, let's say, 32 individuals, and they take, on average, 6.3 minutes. So the question will be whether we can, is there a significant difference between population mean and let's say population under the new technique that we think will improve the amount of time. So first we can state the null hypothesis which would be that the population in general would not be different from or would be equal to the population under the new method. We can also state an alternative hypothesis which here would say that they are different. We'll, we'll state a non-directional alternative hypothesis. We'll leave open the possibility that we're completely wrong in the opposite direction. So we'll just say that they are not equal. Uh, we'll need an alpha or a significance criterion. We'll go with the conventional 0 0.05 two-tailed. And we'll need a z-critical that corresponds to that alpha, and the z-critical that corresponds to alpha 0.05 two-tailed is 1.96. That cuts off, absolute value of 1.96 cuts off 2.5% of the curve on each side of the normal distribution. So we can go ahead and conduct the z-test and see how it stacks up to our z-critical. So z the z-test. We have for our mean from our sample 6.3. For our population mean we're comparing it to we have 6.5. For the standard error of the mean we can take 2 which is our standard deviation in the population and divide it by the square root of 32. So in the numerator, 6.3 minus 6.5 gives us negative 0.2. In the denominator, the square root of 32, and divide that into 2. We get 0.35. 36 roughly. So negative 0.2 divided by 0.3536 gives us a C value of 0.57 if we round to two decimals. So we're negative 0.57. Now, to reject, we would have needed to get to at least negative 1.96, or if we were completely wrong, positive 1.96. Um, we are nowhere near that point. So if we were to draw the normal distribution, 
and draw lines for Z critical, it would be roughly over here and over here. That would correspond to our significance criterion. We would need to get into that significance region or rejection region to be able to reject a null hypothesis. We would need to we would need to be at positive 1.96 or beyond or negative 1.96 and beyond and we failed to even get there we're at negative 0.57 so we're like somewhere over here relative to the the mean of zero in the standard normal distribution so we are not able to reject a null hypothesis uh, we reserve judgment and for the time being we say that there is no difference um, no detected difference between um, the population mean and the mean um, from which our sample population was derived.